comes back very, very fast from being pushed down to be give that big of a stroke to a really thin, small line. This is a this is a really good brush pen. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? where I go around the world and the internet looking for art supplies to make your job just a little bit easier or for you to enjoy the craft just this much more. And today I wanna to say a great big happy new year to everyone who sees this video. I hope that your year is starting off very well and we are trying to stay as consistent as possible by getting these Is It Worth It's to you every single Wednesday. So I'm hoping you are excited. I'm excited for the new year and we are going off of a recommendation from one of our viewers, Miss Ebony Love. Thank you very much for telling me about the Aqua Brush and that you have so many of them and you wanted me to try these. Um, this is also from Pentel. And as you know, for the past couple of videos, I have been doing a lot of inking to, um, instruments where I'm trying to figure out if I can find one that'll really work for me as a person who does not like to ink to see if there is actually a brush or a brush pen or just a pen in general that will actually work for me and make it just this much more enjoyable. And so today we are going back to Pentel Arts. We're going to try this aqua brush and we're going to see just how good it is and if in fact, in 2022, if it's worth it. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, so as you can see, Pentel Art supplies are generally the same, a little bit of chipboard, you know, and the see-through plastic so you can actually see what you're getting yourself into. It says acid-free, fade-proof, water-resistant, light black pigment ink permanent pigment ink and durable nylon brush holds its point. Okay, so it doesn't give us any instructions as far as if we need to do anything interesting to it. We'll see what we have to do, but it says it's a light black pigment. So I'm interested to see how light or what kind of gray it's gonna come out to be, but let's check it out. <clears throat> All right, so this one, it it actually it has this weird, it's a very weird shape, right? But I th I think it's mostly to hold as much ink as you possibly can, right? But I like the feel of the plastic, right? It doesn't feel really cheap like the other ones did. Like it felt really really soft and you know just didn't have a lot of strength to it where this one seems to be a lot more durable as far as the plastic goes so i really do like that it's actually a big enough size that even in my big hands it still feels very comfortable so that's good regular post it okay we realize that pentel arts really does do posting of the cap so that's on there so that's good it's got a nice snap okay Okay, and then look at that point. It's a nice nylon point, right? They seem soft. Some of the other ones actually were a little bit uh, more rigid, so they had they held their shape a little bit more. So this is going to be interesting. So I can see as as I go over it with my fingers, the brush actually kind of splits apart on there so that means that it's a very flexible nylon fiber so I'm wondering to see just how much it'll be able to hold its point so that's gonna be interesting now I don't know if I need to get rid of this ring because it says something in Japanese I think and so I don't know if I'm supposed to twist these or not squeeze it there were no instructions so I don't know so we're gonna open this up. Okay, and we're gonna take this ring out like we did with the other one. And put it back together. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so you have to get rid of the ring. Turn it upside down. You can already see the ink flowing into it. All right, you wanna make sure it comes in there. 
Yep, see? That's always what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm doing that, so we're gonna let the ink... So if you squeeze it too hard, the ink's gonna just flow out through the end. So you just wanna give it some time, squeeze a little bit, a little bit at a time, right, to let the ink actually flow down into the, the nylon fibers. I'm gonna try and clean up my little ink mess here. It doesn't get on my desk, okay? Still letting it flow down to the bottom. As you can see, it's getting there, right? So, all right, I'm gonna post this cap. See, I'm doing a lot of ink work. All right, <clears throat> so it looks like we're good. Let's see how it works, shall we? I don't think there's a lot of ink in it yet. Okay. Oh, it is, it is actually a light. It's a light gray or a light black, as it said, a light black pigmented ink. Um, all right. So, I mean, to be honest, the brush really does hold although I gotta say that it's very very soft right so that remember when when I said at the very beginning that <clears throat> it the the nylon seemed very very soft and so any type of pressure makes just makes it nice and thick like really really quick right so there might be a bigger learning curve on this one than some of the other ones but I have to say that it really, it flows really nicely, right? It, all the way to the end, which is one of the things that we were finding with all the other Pentel brush brushes was that the ink would always fall apart towards the end, right? And that was the, the biggest issue that I had was that the ink was not flowing through, you know, through the brush. And even, you know, some of the bigger ones, it kind of fell apart, but I mean, it's still giving nice, big strokes, right? And it's, and the ink comes all the way to the end. This brush is actually really good. I like this brush. Personally, I think I wish that it was a little bit firmer, but that's just because of how I like to be able to control the ink. But... To be honest, once you once you get used to how this brush works and how the the pressure sensitivity, you know, how much you have to push and how much you don't, then I think this brush is gonna be great. Not to mention, look at how little these lines are. I mean, you can get some really nice thin detail lines, and you don't even need to have that really crazy uh thin brush the itty bitty brush that we had in a previous episode you know you can you can use this brush and get really nice nice thin lines and then when you need it you just push a little bit harder look at that right and it goes and the ink i mean the ink goes all the way to the end right and you can even come down and curve it Right. Whereas before, like every time we curved, like as you can see here, right, it would always just break apart. And this one right here is really following with the speed. I don't have to go very, very slow with these brush with the brush. Like this, this one is really nice. I mean, I like how you can get really nice, big, thick lines if you need to. Right? And then just come in afterwards and go really thin. So the brush, the, the nib comes back very, very fast from being pushed down to be give that big of a stroke to a really thin, small line. This is a, this is a really good brush pen. And this... Right? You just, I love, the thing that I love about this the most is that you can actually make 
these quick marks and you don't have to worry about the ink breaking up towards the end. That's just great. Now I have the, I have this light ink pigment or lightly pigmented black, but I believe that they have multiple colors. And if this, if this, if the aqua brush comes in a pure black, I absolutely recommend getting this brush. This thing is, this is great. It's fast. You can control it. You can make it go really, really small, really, really big, get big marks. Yeah, pour a little bit more ink in there. Right. Yeah. And I would, I mean, might as well try the marker test. Right. Might as well go ahead and just grab some colors real quick. And I guess we'll use a pink and blue. All right, we'll just, I mean, it's a light gray, so I don't think it'll affect it that much, but we might as well try it. See, so we'll just pull it over here. I think I got light blue too. Okay. So I don't, I don't really see any smearing of the ink at all in this brush like i don't i don't see anything kind of bleeding off or anything like that so these are really i mean this is really good the ink seems to set really fast so this is this is a good one all right so we just got done reviewing the pentel arts aqua brush and I have to say that I, I was already had thrown it out the window. It's like, no, Pentel hasn't really been nailing it with these brushes. But man, this one really came through. It's really good. I Get this. If you're looking for an inking utensil that you'd like to try and see whether or not something would be good for you, try out this aqua brush. These things are great. This is definitely worth it. First one, 2022, worth it. Go pick this up. This was really fun to use. It was fast. It, the ink flew, flowed with it and it went from thin to thick to thin to medium. You've got nice curves with it and it didn't break apart like any of the other Pentel brushes that the ink couldn't keep up. Like this one is really good. I highly recommend it. Definitely check this out, especially if you're looking for like a brush look, then this is something that you should definitely check out. Well, that ends today's episode. I hope that you got something from it and that it will help you in your journey. If you have any type of materials that you would like me to try, please go ahead and drop it in the comments below and I will go ahead and add it to the list. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I have new content coming out. And in 2022, there's going to be a lot of educational videos coming out and just a whole lot of things that are gonna help you as an artist, hopefully, and allow you to just enjoy the craft or just become a little bit better. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you at the next episode.